Yo, yo, yo! This is Solo, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your artist team's called Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, if you check out the time trial event, we only have eight missions right now, but in a couple of days, we will be having missions 9, 10, and 11. So here in Absolutely Space Bin, we have Mission 9 coming on May 1, Mission 10 coming on May 3, and Mission 11 coming on May 5. Now these are included in my gem count video. So if you are unable to finish one of these missions, deduct 200 points from the gem count. But uh, Mission 9, complete time trial round 3, or speed challenge with three or more steel type sync pairs. Mission 10, complete round three or speed challenge with three or more gym leaders. And mission 11, complete round three or speed challenge with two or more Galar sync pairs. Now this mission, or in this video, we are going to do mission nine. So this is not exactly free to play because this is kind of a bit hard to accomplish if you do not have Raihan. So, um, the way I do it is you have to have at least Gloria or Steven at 6 star EX and this thing will be quite manageable, guys. So, um, we're going for speed challenge. It's the same as round 3. You can do this unlimited number of times. And, uh, yeah. For, so, mission 9, use 3 steel type sync pairs. We have Jasmine, we have Thornton, we have um, Raihan, we have Steven, Wickstrom, Solgaleo, Moline, and Gloria. Sorry, guys. <coughs> okay. Um, so let's let's go for a uh, the f most free to play friendly run we can get is probably. Go to my data interpreting machine. Battling with me is the optimal choice. It's the first time I've heard. I've heard that. Do you need my help? So either Thornton or Wickstrom, actually only uh, Moline is pretty free to play. If you miss Solgaleo, you have to wait for him. He's probably going to come out soon. And the rest are either 4 stars or 5 stars. So Moline over here, we have Thornton. And the last sync pair that we can include is either Gloria or Steven. So, let's start with Gloria first. So over here, I have my Steel-type um, gears. And the idea for Gloria is that I want to use Laser Sharp Focus before I use my Sync Move. And probably I'm going to use my Sync Move after the opponent uses its Sync Move. Let's try and demonstrate that in battle. Here we go. Can I actually increase my attack stat? I don't think so. If you have Jasmine to help you out, that will be better. So, what do we have? Analysis complete, probably uh, something like that and something like this. So, I'm just gonna use Behemoth Blade right now. And before I use my sync move, I will be waiting for the opponent to use a sync move. Again, guys, I have a 6-star EX um, over here. 6-star EX Gloria. So I just... Wait right now, I'll use laser sharp focus to make sure my next attack is gonna be a critical hit. I wait for the opponent to use a sync move. Hurry up, opponent. Oh, 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 my mistake, guys. I should have done that after the opponent used the sync move. But let's try. I messed up, but it's okay.
I messed up. See, if you use your sync move before the opponent uses a sync move, that happens. And by the way, guys, I think I forgot to mention that you have to defeat this stage under 1 minute and 35. So if you're wondering why 3 minutes is very, not exactly very easy, but manageable, this one is under 1 minute and 35. So let's go back to the battle because we already messed up and this will not, probably will not allow us to defeat this thing in under 1 minute and 35. Let's do this again. Okay, Behemoth Blade, Analysis Complete, X Attack. Oh, so slow. Probably another Analysis Complete afterward. Then bend but don't break. And then laser sharp focus. Wait for the opponent to use a sync move this time. Come on. Come on, opponent. Come on. Come on. Come on. 1 minute and 35. There it is, guys. We use our sync move after. Here's our sync move. It's gonna be a critical hit because we use laser sharp focus before this. And now this damage should be multiplied. Kind of by double. By the way, guys, my Gloria is 5 out of 5, but you should be able to do the same thing quite similarly. And that's it. That is how you accomplish with Gloria. With Gloria. Now this time, I'm going to do it with Steven. But again, 6 star EX, Steven. So, here we go. With 6 star EX Steven, put him in the center. You have my strength at your disposal. And with that said, we begin. So practically similar for the rest. I'm gonna start with 2x attacks. Another X attack. If there's an empty refresh, sure, why not? We can use that. The idea here is to use our sync move quickly. And before using the sync move, we use best there is to make sure it's gonna be a critical hit. So just attack using the others probably. Again, before we do our sync move, make sure you use best there is. And after this, just let Steven do his thing. Not over yet. Now, let's do our sync move. It's also going to be a critical hit because of best there is. Now you have, if you have Jasmine right. and you have Clang to increase your attack stat, it would be better. Boom! We use Bullet Punch to increase our critical hit rate. Probably just do it with Steven. And the enemy alternates between Sync pairs. I think. Except for this turn. 
But as you can see, Steven is probably easier to do. And then we can land an Iron Head and we should be done. Or after another Iron Head after this. Can we do it? There you go, guys. 1 minute and 24. For the others, it might be a little bit harder. We are just doing 6-star EX strikers here by the way if you're using steven make sure you give him in a rather haymaker on her on his sync grid and eagle eye nine if possible if you have him at three out of five for bullet punch so that his critical hit rate gets increased and with that said we're done steven and gloria but again if you have raihan if you have raihan guys i'll show you what it's like to this is gonna be so easy with Raihan. So easy with Raihan, guys. Mission 9, use 3 steel type sync pairs. Now, my sync grid is actually built for steel beam. You know what? I don't even, I don't even think I need to attack or move with Thornton and um, Thornton and uh, what you might call it, Moline. Just use Raihan. And my grid right now is built for Rock Slide. I can swap back to Steel Beam over here. And let's do this. My Raihan, by the way, is 2 out of 5. And this is a 6 star Raihan. I already did a 5-star Raihan demonstration. So again, Steel Beam. And if it doesn't move gauge refresh, use a Steel Beam on the side. Oh, that was not a critical hit. That's sad. Should probably have used top this right after, guys. So let me try and use top this. The opponent should practically not be able to attack after this. And that's it. Easy to do with Raihan because Raihan stats are extremely, extremely high in this event. His attack, or rather, all his stats except HP are actually doubled here in this event. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this. This is Mission 9. And again, this mission is coming out on May 1. So again, Raihan's stats are actually doubled over here. So very, 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 very strong sync pair, at least in this event. Thank you for watching. See you with mission 11 in the next video because we are still trying to find out how to do mission 10 in a most free-to-play manner without Raihan. Without Raihan. Because I could not find any way so far. That's it. Thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up, comment your thoughts, share this with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Rawr.